Geronimo, one of the most feared Apache warriors in the West, surrendered on September 4, 1886. After a long struggle with federal troops in the Chiricahua Territory, the Apache Wars ended as America was seen to the end of the frontier, another piece of the West was almost completely under the control of the United States. Geronimo's years on the warpath were spurred on by the murder of his family by Mexican troops, the ill treatment that his people were receiving at the hands of white men, and the betrayal of his chief, Mangus Colorado, first at Fort Bowie, then ultimately at the hands of white settlers and federal troops at the town of Apache Teja. Geronimo, plagued by his past, believed that he was preserving the way of life his people had been practicing for years by resisting, as he did not trust the United States government to give the Apache people a fair deal. After a long period of raids and being pursued by both the Mexican and American authorities, Geronimo surrendered to the United States General George Crook, but fearing further betrayal, escaped. Not all Apache viewed the situation through Geronimo's eyes. Chato, General Crook's lead scout, believed that he was doing the best thing for the Apache by helping bring Geronimo into custody. Apache such as Chato believed that cooperation was the best path for the preservation of their existence. The United States government, however, had territorial aspirations and wished to see the native threat in the West come to an end. After General Crook's failure to secure Geronimo and therefore the West, General Nelson Miles was put in charge of the hunt for Geronimo. Miles used Captain Henry Lawton to hunt for Geronimo, but ultimately decided that Lieutenant Charles Gatewood should be in charge of negotiating terms of surrender with the Apache warrior. After months of pursuit, Gatewood was finally able to reach Geronimo, asking for his unconditional surrender to General Miles. Geronimo was told that he and his followers would be transported to Florida, where their families had already been sent. After tense negotiations, Geronimo accepted the terms being offered and the Apache resistance had ended. Geronimo and his followers were taken into custody, sent to Florida as had been promised, and ultimately ended up at the Kiowa and Comanche Reservation in the Oklahoma Territory. It appears that as America continued to expand its control over the West, the government sought to eliminate, or in this case, export any threats to their interests. After the surrender of Geronimo, it was believed that a safer move West could take place as settlers were told that the Apache threat had been eliminated. Geronimo was possibly one of the last figures of the American Wild West to disappear. Though the frontier had not closed yet, the surrender of Geronimo certainly ushered in a new era in the West, leaving the Apache people, their way of life, and Geronimo in the past.